Thanks to last night's shutout victory over Parkway, the Coldwater Cavaliers have won 17 straight games and remain in first place in the MAC with league games at Versailles and home against Minster next week, followed by a road trip to New Knoxville and then the MAC finale at home against St. Henry on May 18th. The Redskins also undefeated in league play. Cavaliers back at home this afternoon facing Bath. Wildcats coming off a league loss to Shawnee last night. Pick up the action in this one with Bath up 4-1. Bottom of the third, Cavaliers though with a runner on first for Levy Bettinger. Base hit on the hit and run as Brody Hoying goes first to third. And when the throw gets away from the second baseman, Hoying alertly comes in to score. Cuts the deficit to just two runs. Later in the inning, a man on third drew Ott and chopped a third tough hop. But Cam Clark loves it. Throw over to first to end the inning. Top of the fourth now, two outs for Bath. Eric Jordan with a hot shot into right field. He's got the single, looking to stretch it to two, but a strong relay throw, and he is out at second to end at the top of the fourth. In the home half, Hunter Weiss in control, gets the backwards can. Aaron Harlemert moved to the top of the fifth. Cam Jenkins, a liner to center field, but Mitch Shanehair able to track it down to make the running catch. Later in the inning, Weiss, two out single into right field. But Greg Gillen would get out of the jam as he strikes out Bronson Best. Bottom of the fifth now. Coldwater still down by two as see another look at Gillen's strikeout. Derek Toby at the dish for the Cavs and finds the 6.5 hole for the leadoff single, but it would not be enough as Bath takes game one, 8-2, ending the 17-game winning streak. Jared Davis, two doubles in the victory. Coldwater comes back to win the second game at 7-2. Brandon Kunk getting the victory, striking out four, allowing just two earned runs in six innings.